That's a lot then, Mark. Six geese, two dozen of them new bantams, some rolls of wire netting, two dozen balls of twine, and last but not least, one, two, three, four, five, six little baby piglets. Big ones. <laughs> <laughs> He's the runt of the litter by the looks of him. <laughs> They're miserable looking devil, he asked me. What are you going to call him? What about Hamlet? Hamlet. Yeah, I like that. Um, to bacon or not to bacon. <laughs> yes, a fair exchange for a load of hay, I reckon. Mind you, I should be sorry to say goodbye to these. It was either them or me. Goodbye, sir. I'm a lot. Right, come on. <laughs> Off we go. In you go, lads. Right, mate. Thirsty work, all this fetching and carrying. Yeah. What do you fancy? A pint of Guinness? Uh, too hot. A pint of shandy, I think. A pint of shandy it is. Sing a jingle and let the world go by. Singing a song, we march along the highway. Say goodbye to sorrow. Here's always tomorrow to pick up a day. Jack, let's go, Jack. Morning, Rod. How's it going? I was just waiting for the tiles. Should be here by the end of the week. Fish pie for lunch. Fish pie. Yeah, hey, Dad, why can't you get us more jobs like this? Oh, no, now Mrs. Larkin, you're not going to go spoiling these lads. How long is it going to take? Uh, two, three weeks. Mm, better stock up then. Mm. Here we are. Go to Daddy. Come here. Thanks, Sid. Before? I'm putting this job our way. You know, things have been a bit slack lately. That's all right, Rod. Roof needed doing anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I owe you one. Do you do? Right. Come round five o'clock tomorrow morning and help me milk my cows. Hey? No! <laughs> I'm a builder. I don't know one end of a cow from the other. No good asking you for a glass of milk then, is it? <laughs> Come on, little one. All right, John Blenheim. It's your last bag. See how your dad's getting along, eh? Ready? Off we go. Doesn't he ever fall over? I hope not. I'm working underneath. Terrific sandwich. Pop's own cheese and Ma's curd ham. We're very lucky. Not lucky enough to avoid the electric bill, though. Mm. I've been thinking. Maybe I should drum up some accountancy work just to tide us over. Something will turn up, Charlie. The sun's shining. Beautiful little baby. And I love you. 
What else could we ask for, eh? Now, children, today, foolishly perhaps, I'm going to attempt to instill into your famously unwilling heads Pythagoras' theorem concerning right angled triangles. Now, his theorem states that the square on the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Now then, what is a hypotenuse? Yes, uh, Zinnia Larkin. I'm Petunia. Oh, I wish you would stay in your seats. What's the answer? It's a big animal in Africa that likes to roll about in the mud. <laughs> Very amusing. Please, Mr Dolish, I know. No one else? Very well, Petunia. I'm Zinnia. Oh, yes, Zinnia, what's the answer? It's one of those people who can send you to sleep by staring at you. <laughs> quiet, quiet, it's not funny. They're not funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a real treat, Mrs. Larkin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The better than my mum could do. Oh. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Think nothing of it. It's a pleasure to cook for grateful eaters. Mm. We like a busy kitchen, don't we, Mark? Yep. Oh, yeah? What time's tea, then? Oh! oh. oh. Time's tea! When you've done some work, you cheeky devil. Come on, Come on. Les. Back to work, then. Thank yeah. you again, Mr. Come on, Les. Come on. Go and earn your wages. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, my darling. Oh. You know that? That meal, Mark, has made me feel real sleepy, yes? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look at that, Oski Posky here. You know what he could do with a kip too, couldn't you? Yeah. What's how we go upstairs? Uh, lie down for 20 minutes, Marley. Just, you know, 20 minutes, lie down. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, blimey. I don't believe it. Hello? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Dawlish. Ah, I see. Um, after school today? Yes, all right, we'll both be there. Yeah, bye. The twins. Yourself, you lot. Where are you going? See your headmaster. Why? Because he says you two have been messing him about again. Oh, that's Mr. Dawlish. Yeah, you haven't put that whoopee cushion on his chair again, have you? He has absolutely no sense of humour. Absolute mon fun. Well, come on, it. No, don't misunderstand me, Mr. Larkin. Mrs. Larkin. Your daughters are very bright. When they pay attention, they do very well indeed. Well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is they rarely pay attention. Oh dear. Instead, they find ways to disrupt the class. Well, they can be little devils when they want to. Yes, well, I'm afraid, Mrs. Larkin, we appear to have come to something of a crunch. What crunch is that? I feel they would do better going elsewhere. Hold oh, on. Um, are you... What's the name? Are you... It's, it's spelling our girls. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, don't think that. Well, what are we to think? Yeah. Well, let me explain. Yeah, go on, then. What is this crunch, then? Well, it's simply this. I honestly don't believe they can realise their full potential in this school. They need more control, more... Discipline. Discipline? I'm sure they'd do much better in a place where the staff can keep their eye on them the whole time. Like a boarding school? Boarding school? Look, you have a lovely farm. It must be wonderful for children, all the fields and animals and things. But it can be very distracting, especially at the twins' age. Coming up for 13, I, they need to concentrate on their work. 
That is, if you want them to go on to better things. Oh, yeah. Sit down, but you like it. Oh, sit you like it. Oh, oh, just sit down. I don't know, so I want them to send the girls to boarding school. What oh, are you doing? away in the Navy. Look, I'm sure he didn't mean sending them that far. How can we afford it? And boarding school's expensive. Oh, yeah, I know. Of course we can afford it. If it's for their own good, like he says. <laughs> Uh, we've got to go. Come on, then. Are we all here? One, two, three. Uh, well, where is she? Primrose, will you put that boy down and get in? Excuse me, I'm oh. looking for Mr... Charlton? That's the chap. Oh, he's not here at the moment. I'm Mrs Charlton. Can I help you? Ernest Bristow. Pleased to meet you. Bristow? Do you own Bristow's Brewery? One and the same, my dear. We have the contract to supply you with hops. So my chief brewer tells me. It all looks tickety-boo. I believe your husband used to be an accountant. Still is, actually. Why? The thing is, my regular chap's gone and retired. The books are all over the place. I wondered if he might have a look at them. I'm sure he'd be glad to. Good. Grand. Well, tell him to drop by the brewery. Hmm. <sighs> very good. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Thank you. Looks like your dad's in demand again, John Blenheim. absolutely ghastly, but a friend of mine did suggest I might be able to earn a little money. Oh! And well, as you know, times are hard, and I'm afraid my savings are not a bottomless pit. Mm. How many have you sold, Edith? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to play on the floor with that, darling. Go on, then. Off you go. There you are. You and John Pick on his hand, don't Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a look at this. I don't fancy keeping my tea in there. It's plastic, Ma. It's the face of the future. Oh. <laughs> keeping abreast of the times. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a tea party, it's a great success. sell anything, Edith? One lunchbox. Oh, dear. What a mess. The whole thing was absolutely ghastly. 
commission on one lunchbox won't even pay for the food. Seems like everybody just came for a free meal. Well, I must have baked a hundred cakes. I think that's where you went wrong. Well, one has to feed the customers. I know, but afterwards... How do you mean? Well, sell first, feed later. That's the way I would do it. Edith? Yes? You know about education and, and that sort of thing, don't you? Oh, a little. Why? This way. Well, supposing we wanted to send the twins to boarding school. Boarding school? Not far away, mind. Where, do you reckon? <laughs> a boarding school? For girls? Um, let me see. Oh, Brockhurst College is quite near. Brockhurst College? I know the headmistress, Annette Jimson. We were at school together. Oh, well, do you, do you reckon you could put in a good word for us? Oh, of course. Thank you, Edith. <laughs> How much did you say this was? <laughs> Way to spend a Saturday. Do you hope we're doing the right thing? Yeah, well, we're only going to give the place a once over. I mean, if we don't like it, they don't go. Right, girls? What's it called? Brockhurst College. Broccoli College? Yuck. I hate broccoli. You're most welcome. Miss Pilchester has told me so much about you and uh, your girls. Twins, I believe, are very original. Uh, do take a seat. Oh. Who's that nice uh, Indian girl? Oh, yes, the um, Princess Zaria. Oh. <laughs> Princess, eh? We do have a number of royal children here, Mr Larkin, from all over the world. <clears throat> Edith told you our problem, Miss Jimson, about the twins. Yes, I understand the village school didn't suit them, and you'd like them to start here as soon as possible. Well, yes, providing everything's up to snuff. Well, we can take pupils in the middle of the school year. As it happens, I do have just two vacancies left after midterm. Oh, well, that's lucky. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> do you mind if we have a shifty? You know, look round. Oh, yes, of course. Let's have a shufty. And see if everything is uh, up to snuff. Oh, oh thank you. Well, thank you. We like to make it a family atmosphere here. A home from home is our aim. Please follow me. Classes of no more than 15 girls, so each one gets the maximum attention from our staff. Well, I must stress our caring, capable, and committed. Do follow me. Yes. This is the kitchen. Uh, the dining hall is through there. Breakfast is at 8, and lunch is between 12 and 1. And then there's a hot supper at 6 o'clock every evening. Last time I saw one of those. This way, please.
and we make it our business to see to their every need. Uh, just watch your step along here. For that reason, we have a very full curriculum encompassing the students' intellectual, musical, and physical. Uh, perhaps you'd care to see some of our outdoor facilities. Uh, this is one of the older parts of the school. Many famous people have associations with the house. Bring plenty of blankets. And hot water bottles. And food. Lots of food. My mum's a great cook. In that case, you can sleep in our dorm. Right, Emma? Right. 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 We're going to love it here. Right. As well as the gym, we have our own tennis courts and swimming pool, though I'm afraid sadly no longer heated. And the girls play lacrosse and hockey, and of course there are ballet classes. In all, we try to provide a rich and varied diet of activity for our girls in order to stimulate them to the full. Ah, let me introduce you to Mischief and Beulah. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> oh, uh, Joan and uh, Samantha. Oh. There for a while. Oh, I've just been poking about, that's all. Oh, what do you reckon? Can we afford it? Oh, yeah, the fees seem reasonable enough. But doesn't it seem strange to you that a school with royalty and what have you should be in such bad nick? What do you mean? Well, the plumbing in this place is really dodgy. Look at all them windows up there that they're all falling out. All that brickwork needs repointing. The wiring is positively ancient. Let's have time to think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that settles it. Yay! Yeah! Oh, go on, girls, off you go. Oh, well, Mr. and Mrs. Larkin, shall we see to the formalities? Yeah. Do follow me. And so it is with great pleasure I welcome your children to Brockhurst College. Rest assured, they will be well looked after and will receive the best education that my staff and I can provide. Here, here. Here, here. Let me end by saying how much I regret having to increase the school fees once again. But necessary expenses have left me no alternative. May I invite you to tea and biscuits in the staff room? They got the kids in and they put the fees up. God dear. Good here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they are there, look. Girls, come on. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Grab hold of that. Good. Look at all this. No, 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 no. Shh. Sure. <laughs> take it away. Word. Come on. <laughs> We are most grateful, Mrs. Larkin. I'm going to miss those little madams. Come on, Pa. <laughs> Some of the parents are a bit stuck up, aren't they? No, they're all right. Just a bit unsure of themselves, that's all.
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, cheers. Right, who's going to be mother then? Victoria, she's such a child. Mm. This is delicious. I made it myself. My dad always says be sure to marry a good cook. What else she good at, eh? I can't imagine what you mean. Served first, as a rule. When we've made some room here, we'll be able to bring it in. But in the meantime, let me show you how useful these containers are. You notice that they're transparent, which means you can actually see when it's nearly empty. And look how neatly they're stacked together. Very neat, very convenient, and exactly what you need. Oh. This is just what I need. Is it? Don't be shy, ladies. Come and have a look. This is a lunchbox. Lunchbox here for the children to take to school. Bristow's books. To this time? No, I'm sorry. They really are in a terrible mess. Did he pay you enough? Ah. Uh, um. Well, we didn't really get round to talking about money. I hope he hasn't had you slaving off the night for nothing, Charlie. I'm too tired to think about it. Um. Oh, how did your party go? Oh, not bad. Only not bad. Nine pounds, three and sixpence. Nine pounds, three and sixpence. That's wonderful. I told you, Charlie, you married a natural businesswoman. ta -da. <laughs> Junior and Zinnia Larkin, go back to your own places at once. And don't do it again. Quickly. If you wish to succeed here at Brockhurst College, then greater dedication is clearly required. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Seems so quiet without the twins. And the word is peaceful. <laughs> well, they don't seem to burn the new school down yet. <laughs> don't speak too soon. <laughs> no. I'm gonna ask the headmistress if they can come home for your birthday party. <laughs> for the birthday party? That's a wonderful <laughs> idea, Marley. Right? Yes. I don't want we'll the really have a party. good mm. Sorry, Johnny, what do you say? I said I don't want a birthday party. Oh, come on, Primrose. You can't have a knees up on your 16th birthday. It's a big day in a young girl's life, isn't it, Ma? I mean, you know, when you're 16, you can do all sorts of things. Well, you know, you can, uh, you, you can, <coughs> you, you, you can, um... <coughs> well, you, you, you can get married if you want to. Hey. Tony, you'd better watch your step then. Shut up, Victoria. Come on, Primrose. You'll be a big girl. Fine. Then as a so-called big girl, I can exercise my right not to have a stupid party. What? Hey, Primrose, now come just... What did I say now? Primrose don't want to be a big girl, dear. She wants to be a young lady. Huh. Huh. Women. Junior. Junior, are you asleep? Of course not. How can anyone 
I do hope they're all right. Yeah, well, they've got the only time of their lives. Oh, midnight feasts, moonlight swims. God, oh, perfect. Who'd have thought our daughters would be going to school with princesses, eh? Who'd have thought it, Martin? Princesses are only girls under the skin. Mm-hmm. Oh. There you go. What am I then under the skin? I'm just a great big baby. Oh. Well, I was more like Gary Cooper. <laughs> I saw your face when Primrose said she didn't want a birthday party. You nearly burst out crying. Yeah. Oh, the kids are all growing up, Ma. Soon we won't have none left. Do you, um, think we ought to do something about it? Sydney Larkin, if you want any more kids, you can adopt them. Oh, I can, can I? Yeah. Oh, How many we got now? Oh, seven or eight, a loose track. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You'll try for a football team. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious now. <laughs> Soccer or rugby? <laughs> <laughs> So long, Sid. Had a bit of trouble finding the right kind. Well, they look just the job, Ron. Yeah, well, we start tiling first thing Monday morning. Tony. Mr. Bristow's the boss. He comes in when he feels like it, which isn't often. My name's Tom Sargent. Hello. He was in yesterday. My husband saw him. Oh, your husband? Yes. He talked him into sorting out your books. Oh, hang on. So you're Mrs. Charlton? Yes. You bought the hop garden? Do you know where I'd be able to find Mr. Bristow? Well, you could try his house. Where's that? I'll write the address down for you. How big is the staff here? You're looking at it. Just you? Well, and a couple of lads in the loading bay. Is that all it takes to make beer? It's all it takes to make Bristow's beer. It seems you don't even need a boss. Oh, we do. Badly. But Mr. Bristow is more interested in frolicking in the French sunshine. Chief Constable, <laughs> what's the flying squad doing here then? Oh, Sid. Oh. Ah. I see you're getting on. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're getting on all right, yeah. Anything wrong? No, 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 no. I'm, uh, I'm just spreading the word around. Oh, yeah, what about? Council builders in Ashford got robbed last night. Oh, dear. Anything valuable? Not a load of roofing tiles. You're joking. Well, I'm not. Old as brass. You might let me know if you hear of any being sold on the cheap. 
Well, yeah, I mean, of course I will help her. Certainly, yeah, certainly. You know, it's amazing what people swipe these days, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it incredible? Good night, then, Sid. Cheerio, Albert. <laughs> Oh, are you arriving or leaving? A bit of both. I'm afraid our dear old government won't let me stay very long. Why not? Tax. If I stay, I have to pay it. <laughs> Damned unreasonable of them. Uh, please. Thank you. Mr Bristow, my husband's been doing your books. And a brilliant job he did. You should be proud of him. I am. However, his services are a bit like your tax problems. I don't quite follow you, my dear. If he stays, you pay. Oh, yes. See what you mean. And he stayed until 11 o'clock the other night. And since any work after five is paid time and a half, and any after nine is paid double, I've worked it out. And you owe him this. Yes, it... Very well. Fair enough. He'll accept a cheque. Actually, I'm desperately in need of someone to keep a regular eye on the business. I feel I can trust him. Job's his, if he wants it. Will that be paid or unpaid? Or paid. Naturally. I'll ask him. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yourselves. That was a very silly thing to have done. I'm sorry, Miss Dimpson. Our parents are paying a lot of money for us to come to this school. And we'd like more food. That's enough. Most girls don't have appetites as big as yours. However, I shall see what can be done. And in the meantime, no more climbing on the roof. It's dilapidated enough as it is. Is that clearly understood? Yes, yes Miss Dimpson. I feel sorry for Miss Johnson. It's not her fault. It is. The place is falling down. It's freezing. And I'm still hungry. I think we should ring home. No, we don't ring to parents. We wanted to come here, so we stick it out. Perfect. <coughs> oh, pardon me, early morning breeze. <laughs> hey, are you? 
busy today. Oh, yeah, well, it's a busy time of year, Mum. Would you run a basket over to the twins for me? I can't stop cooking for them just because they're not here. Hmm. I've got to go and pick up some army surplus. I could drop it off on the way back. Oh, thanks, Sid. I wouldn't want them to think we'd forgotten them. But the bank can't simply cancel the loan. Miss Jimson, this surveyor's report gives a detailed list of damage and neglect to the building. Our loan was made on condition that the property would be kept in good order. We have no money left over to spend on repairs. I'm sorry. I have been headmistress of Brockhurst College for 15 years. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, hello, there you are, Miss Jay. Oh, Mr Larkin, please. Sorry to disturb you. It's just... Excuse me. I'm just leaving. Oh, it's just that uh, I just wanted to drop this grub off for the twins, if that's all right. Did they ask you for it, Mr. Larkin? No, 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 no. Of course not. No. But... Oh, well, I'm sure you've come in what they uh, call the nick of time. Anything wrong? It's a. Uh, it's been a bad day. Larkin, this is inexcusable. <laughs> a few tears never shock no one, Miss J. Teach our girls that composure is essential at all time in public, and here I am, sobbing as you'd say, like I couldn't. <laughs> Doesn't do no good bottling it up, Miss J. Fact is, I enjoy a good weep myself every now and again. to unblock the tubes. Thank you, Mr. Larkin. Is there anything I can help with? Well, I'm sure you have problems of your own, Mr. Larkin. Yeah, the fact is, I always think that talking about them helps. You know what they say? Problems shared and all that? Yesterday, a girl was hurt in the gym. Yeah. The vaulting horse broke. Well, the fact is, the gym needs to be modernised. The whole school will come to that. It never rains, but it pours. Well, show me this vaulting horse. Maybe it just needs pegging together. Very kind of you, Mr Larkin, but... But me no buts, Miss J. But me no buts. the gym. That should bring us up to date. Thank you. Wouldn't want you setting that wife of yours on me again. You're a lucky bloke having her in your corner. Nothing. I haven't said a word for ages. I should have asked Bristow about that money, not you. What difference does it make? It makes a big difference to me. Oh, come on. He's offered you a part-time job and a decent wage. That's not the point. Charlie, come here. Is it? I just wanted to kiss you. All right. Beautiful. 
beautiful, passionate body that never has ached for a heart. told you the business was up the creek. I didn't realize just how far until now. Well, Bristow couldn't care less. His wife's filthy rich. Just my luck. What is? We buy a hop garden to supply a brewery that's about to go bust. It's all right. No, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Edith's getting the hang of it. Well, I think we'll put just a little bit of it. We're going to need every penny. Well, how do you mean, Charlie? I mean, we Hello. might as well turn the hop garden into a pig farm for all the good it's going to do. What is that? Here, would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Right. Well, what I mean is, yeah. the only brewery we stand any hope of doing any business with... Well, you mean uh, Bristow? After two glorious centuries, Arthur Bristow and son will shortly be calling in the receiver. What? You don't mean it. I do. I'm positive. Second time, girls. Come along now. Mrs. Larkin, thank heavens. I've been trying to reach you all evening. Are the twins with you? <laughs> with us? Whatever do you mean? Sid? Yeah? They're missing from the school and Zaria's gone too. We've looked everywhere. What is it? It's the girls. They've run away. 